coffee, everybody. That's not the subject of today's video. The subject of today's video is a reptile room tour I did when I was in Phoenix last week. Before we start the video, I want to wish you guys a happy new year, as well as a Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you, uh, I guess, experience celebrate, whatever you want to call it. But with that aside, I wanted to let you guys know that in today's video we're going to A and E Herbs and Exotics in Central Phoenix. If you guys are local or anywhere around the Phoenix area, definitely worth the drive. Stay tuned for the video, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. A bunch of little exoterras, some crested geckos. Got a dumpy tree frog or a white tree frog in there. Is that a Helen here? Yeah. Really nice Helen here. Dart frogs down here too, for those of you that are looking for your dart frog needs. Here we got something that's actually really not very commonly seen in the hobby. These are uh, gastrophilus. Prasinus for the green keel bellied lizards. If you guys know reptiles, you guys know these. So. <laughs> these guys are some beautiful, beautiful lizards. They're a small pair in here. Uh, second one's just poking out the top back there. Day gecko. He was on the boat all day, but seems to have gone away. Got some nice viv plants. Uh, all the different cleanup crew that you could be looking for. Powder blues, pinks, dwarf whites, dairy cows, Dalmatians, Montenegro Klugli, Klugi. Got some Pac-Mans and Pixies down here. Pixie Frog. Got some Chubbies. Pac-Mans. That one's a bit bigger. You can see it behind the fog right there. And then one of the coolest things in the shop right now is this beauty. Zamata Mata. Uh, as you can tell, it's got a ton of algae on it right now, but it is a beautiful, beautiful turtle species. Pretty much fully aquatic, rarely, if ever, comes out of the water. Get quite large, so, uh, and a really reasonable price for it, if you guys are interested. Here we got some Etula. Some Asian vine snakes. Really, really cool. Give me a quick view of the shop. Say hi, guys. What's up? Some of the employees. Got some extra tarot display. Ton of different slings and different tarantulas so if you guys are ever looking for any sort of arachnid for sure uh, and in general inverts they're fully stocked up so any other slings or anything that you'd recommend for beginners or something like that um terrestrial wise um, I like a lot of the brachypelma species uh, they're very hardy um, Depending if it fits your budget, the Gramasola poker is actually a very good, easy one to start off with. But yeah, that's what they uh, end up looking at as an adult. 
big black spider. Any cool slings? Do you um, recommend? Just depends. If you're into arboreals and you don't mind keeping up with humidity, um, Carabino Versicolors are pretty cool. Uh, it's a hobby staple. We also have uh, Purple Pink Toes, uh, Viculera Purpurea. Um, and if you're looking for a terrestrial, Green Bottle Blues are cool. Um, they're pretty easy to keep. They're not too demanding and they're heavy webbers. And I mean, they turn green, blue with an orange abdomen. I don't think it gets any better than that. No. Um, Probably one for, of the nicest looking tarantulas out there. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's definitely something that I think everyone should keep. Uh, they're very fun to keep. Um, and if you're looking for like arboreals and something that's a little more uh, defensive, um, the Pulsotheria species are pretty cool. Um, I, I love the Regalis. It's the most common one. Uh, they look very cool. Um, they're not expensive and they're just beautiful. Um, and there's also the Goody Sapphire, the P Metallica. Those guys are awesome. They get really cool blue colors with yellow undertones. They're just an awesome spider. But yeah, have a few different types. If you're looking for a communal tarantula, the Balfour is are pretty cool, the Cicada Island, Blue Islands. Um, those are awesome. There's a pretty cool little treat for you guys as well. There's also some insane millipedes that are not very commonly kept here. That Bryant has in right now. Yeah, African giant millipedes. These guys used to be very common. Uh, they're not common anymore. So it's pretty good to keep these guys in captivity and keep them going here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're awesome pets, man. Low maintenance and pretty awesome looking. Just their size alone. Those guys full grown. Um, they will get a little bit bigger, but this is a an adult size. These guys have actually been breeding already. Uh, we've visually seen it. It's kind of weird looking how they do it. I'll send you some pictures of it later. Sounds good. Um, but yeah, we've visually seen these two pairing up. Cool. So yeah. hopefully we'll have uh, captive bred ones. Uh, yeah. It's slightly higher humidity than most other lizards that are commonly kept in the pet trade. Uh, a lot of people say 60. I like to shoot higher than that, especially for the Indonesians. If you can get a true Australian, they can handle more arid conditions. These guys are really cool. They're insectivores. Uh, just standard um, dubia roaches, crickets, superworms. Um, yeah, they are def they're famous for their defense mechanism, which is that big frill. When they feel threatened, they'll spread that out and gape their mouth. They're also, they're also known to actually chase people on just their back legs. So very prehistoric looking animal. But the ones we have here are actually very tame, used to being handled. Even great, even good with kids, which is nice. Yep. They're Big not it. normally as docile as these ones. The biggest thing with these guys is just giving plenty of space to climb. <coughs> Lots of humidity. Big water dish. Uh there's a savannah. Frillies. Got a mangrove monitor. It was chilling in the back there, but not out currently. Some sulcatas and some leopard tortoises. If you're in Canada, you know that these guys are actually pretty rare. Here in the States, they're kind of everywhere, especially here in Arizona. For those of you guys that watch my channel, you know that I have some Aki monitors and they have a couple. They've got a I'd say a sub-adult to adult male, and then they also have an unknown probable female, or yeah. possible female. Yeah, female yellow. Little baby. This tank's a little darker than the rest, so bring it out for you guys. Beautiful, beautiful species. In my opinion, these guys are like cool bearded dragons. <laughs> Typically pretty chill. They're varanid, so they're super intelligent, very inquisitive, pretty easily to handleable. Again, very, very hot basking spot. I know mine at home's about 140. So, really, really cool animals to keep available here.
got a couple of them in stock, so if you're interested, certainly come check them out. There's a Nile, got some hinge backs. Those aren't too common, that's for sure. Red foot over here. And there is a red foot? Oh yeah. So a little baby red foot here. different bark and accoutrement for your tanks, tidariums, Canadian word. yeah, <laughs> Canadian word, <laughs> strictly Canadian, Some veils in stock. Jackson's to the right. Oh, there is Jackson's. Oh, yeah, there's one. Off the side there. You might like this one. I might like this one. Uh -oh. Beautiful retex, too. Yeah. Ooh, Mexican blacks. Yep. These guys aren't very common anymore. They just must all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican black kings. If you guys live in the States, then you guys know how hard these guys are to find right now. These guys are great starter snakes, typically pretty chill. When they're young, they like the musk, apparently. Yeah. And as they grow, I mean, they're already jet black, but they keep that same coloration as they get older. Little garg female. Garg female. Yep, got some... Mexican fat tail, leopard geckos, various different morphs. Uh, would you take out a retic? Show? The one that's gonna bite you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope, over this way. Come on. Alright, fine, just track me then. Beauty. Jag tiger. Mm -hmm. Jaguar tiger produced by Bob Clark. Female too, which is more sought after. Anything you'd like to say about retics? As I have nine of these guys at home. I love them to death. They are a large snake, um, but honestly, I think they're more manageable than Burmese pythons, uh, anacondas, African rocks, stuff like that, just because they are a thinner bodied animal. Even though they are the longest snake on the planet, they really don't get uh, too girthy. So they're not, you know, I wouldn't call uh, an adult female a one-person snake, but you'll never need more than two. Unlike some of the berms, which you've seen, I'm sure, yeah. which get insane. Oh, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This one's a little more temperamental. I have nine at home, two are aggressive, seven are as friendly as can be. Wicked. Alrighty, thank you, gentlemen. And speaking of... One of the other largest snakes in the world. Heaviest. Heaviest, yeah. Big old green anaconda. Bunch of different ball pythons. Retics. Uh, those are mostly balls. There's the false water cobra chilling. What do we have here, Dan? That's <laughs> 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 <lost> my voice. <laughs> um, this is a false water cobra, hydrogen acetes gigas. It's a little juvenile. General care on them. Uh, keep them wet, a big water dish, kind of like keeping a bar or something else. Cool. More ball pythons. Uh, Pied's out in the back there. Is he? Yeah. Oh yeah. Got a pied. Real These guys are always pieds, banana pieds. Other higher end morphs in the back. So, if you guys are interested in pied bull pythons, make sure you give them a call. They are in Phoenix, so you guys don't ship, do you? No. So, local pickup only. And uh, they got a punch. They got a bunch of different pieds, so hit them up if you are interested. 
Got some boas. Ooh, that would have been cool. Dominican boa. Some spotted. Antaresia. As a last treat to cap off the tour here, we're going to check out the difference and hopefully it picks out. Yeah, let's hope. So we all know that all scorpions glow under a black light or phosphorescent in a certain, certain sense. Uh, much of the more commonly kept pet scorpions, the Asian forests, the emperors, and uh, the desert harries, although they do have this beautiful fluorescence, they're not quite as brilliant as the dunes. Holy, yeah, you can definitely tell. <laughs> yeah, the dunes are something special. That's pretty wild. The dunes do have a slightly worse, uh, worse venom than most of the other commonly kept species. But these guys are a lot of fun to watch. They're an active species. They have a voracious appetite. If you want a scorpion with personality, these are a great one to go with. All right, guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm here with all the crew, minus Yvette, of a &E Herbs and Exotics. <laughs> and uh, do you guys care to introduce yourself? Tell them what you're holding, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah, my name's Dan Height. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dan Height. I work here at A&E Herp Snake Exotics, and this is a big Texas bull snake. <laughs> Dan's been a little under the weather lately. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Declan. This is my green anaconda. They're phenomenal animals. Uh, if you can find them for sale, which is harder to do these days, I highly recommend them. And I'm Brian, the owner. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a blast filming it. I believe. Uh, do you want to give some details as to where you're located? Any. Yeah, uh, Whatever you want. we're located here in Central Phoenix on 7th Street, right off the 10 Freeway. Um, also, for all of you guys that do decide to stop by after you watch this video, we are offering a 50% discount. All you gotta do is mention that you saw us on Mike Titula's video. So there you go, guys. 15% discount for anybody that comes in and sees this video. Uh, they'll hit you up. Uh, that accounts for everything. Animals, everything? Everything. There you go. So, a full 15% off. I really... I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, leave it in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos like this, click that subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Later. Later, guys.